Hello, today is going to be a short video on how to synchronize saves across multiple PCs for your favorite emulators using the Steam Cloud. It's very simple, we're going to utilize RetroArch to do this. So first things first, go ahead and open up Steam and download RetroArch. Then go ahead and save it to your preferred drive. Once you have done this, go ahead and right click RetroArch on your Steam library. And then go to manage and open the file location. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the RetroArch website and we're going to go ahead and get the latest version for your preferred operating system. In this case, it's going to be Windows 11 for me. The reason we're doing this is so we can support different emulator cores. The Steam version is lacking a bunch of them, probably for copyright and safety reasons. Okay, so once that download's complete, go ahead and open up the zip file. You're going to go ahead and open up the folder and then grab all of the files and drag them into the Steam directory for RetroArch and replace all the files. All right, so once that's done, go ahead and open up RetroArch. And with RetroArch open, go ahead and go to the main menu and download the necessary cores for the ROM files that you have. In this case, I'm going to be using Dolphin, the GameCube emulator. All right, now go ahead and open up your legally, <coughs> legally obtained ROM. And that is it. Okay, now that we got the game loaded, as you can tell, I already have a save file here that is synced up with the Steam Cloud. And I just opened my save, and as you can tell, it's all there. And just to prove it's all there, here's RetroArch on my ROG Ally, and I'm going to go ahead and open up the ROM. And as you can tell, the same save file is on it. And if I go ahead and load the save file, you can see that we have all the same progress. So if I were to save on this system, it would be on, over on my PC, my laptop. And if I saved on my laptop and my PC, it would synchronize between all my devices. And this doesn't just work for Dolphin, this works for every emulator that's supported in RetroArch. And that's all there is to it. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave it a like, subscribe, click the bell icon, share it with your friends. I hope this is helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one.